welcome to our next video. We talked about return on assets. There are different ways of computing return on assets. First way, this fraction, net income divided by average total assets equal return on assets. And I mean, the name itself gives the idea already. Because if we divide by average total assets, it's a number that refers to total assets. So return on assets, calling it return on assets is just the right way of de describing this number. So net income divided by average total assets. What is net income? If we have revenue, revenue minus the relevant costs, including depreciation, and again afterwards subtracting taxes, taxes we need to pay, the company needs to pay, then we get net income. So net income divided by average total assets is return on assets. Say, if we have, as a result, if we have 6%, it means that with regard to your total assets, there's a return of 6%. But now it's very important to understand or to see, to look at it a different way. It's not only this fraction, it's also a possibility of expanding this fraction. If we multiply numerator and denumerator with revenue, we get this way. We get net income divided by revenue and we get revenue divided by average to total assets. So as you see already, revenue is just the way of expanding the fraction. It's no different result at all. It's just a different way of looking at it. So the first fraction can be called net profit margin, which is understandable, which is right, of course. Net income divided by revenue. If you look at it this way, like what part of revenue is net income, then you have net profit margin. And net profit margin can be multiplied by total asset turnover. Revenue divided by average total assets so the percentage of average total assets generated by revenue is total asset turnover. So to put it this way, you have, I'd say, three different ways. Three different ways to compute, to calculate return on assets. First way, this fraction, net income divided by average total assets. Second way, this way. This one, net income divided by revenue multiplied by revenue divided by average total asset. This is the second way. And then third way, you just have the information of those two numbers, net profit margin and total asset turnover. So return on assets, third way, is the product of net profit margin and total asset turnover. Thank you for watching.